Like, why the fuck is her face so dark? This is still wet. That's important. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm ready. It's gonna be Beyonce. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> Welcome back to the trend. Today's trending topic is Renaissance, a film by Beyonce. Essentially, it's Beyonce, basically. So we asked you guys on our community page, we gave you a little poll, and the results of the poll. We said, is Beyonce retiring? Question. Dutsy ass bitches that were like, she's done, she's done, she's too old now. <sighs> Don't call them that. Listen. No, they are. Because no, because <laughs> they're hoping she retires so their fave gets a chance. That's not true. That is true. That's not true. People, People know people... as long as she's doing music, their fave will never become like the queen, the top of the music. I feel like some people are really hoping she gets like in her peak and then stops at her peak. So it doesn't give the chance for her to go like this. So I can see why they would be like, nah, she's done. Like she's, she's. Okay, but anyways, the options were not even, for that poll, they weren't even yes or no. They were, they said, yes, she's, the queen has paid her dues. So I think it's not giving hater energy. It's giving genuinely, like, let her rest. Like, I it's, would... it's literally giving, like, <laughs> she's fought her, fought her whole life, like, let her rest. <laughs> I know, but I'm just so sad. The day that I have no more new Beyonce music to look forward to, it will be a sad, sad day. That's my only regret mm-hmm. is that I became, like, a little beehive after her four album Mm. and that's just not enough time yeah i mean mean? that's that's a thing with every fandom i feel like yeah unless you're there from the freaking debut you're always gonna have missed out you know we always complain that people debut younger and younger but it's like that gives people a longer chance to be a fan of them yeah you're like girl i've been a fan of you for 40 years meanwhile the idol's like or the celebrity not the idol (laughs) Just did a video on K-pop. <laughs> Meanwhile, the celebrity's like fifty. Yeah, Beyonce at our Toronto show, being like sixty-six shows. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow. Oh, security. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish I was that girl that could go home. Form. <laughs> <laughs> I literally remember seeing um this girl on Wendy Williams when Wendy would do her ask Wendy, and she was like, "I have a problem." Since I was a teenager, I've been a fan of Beyonce, and I kept saying, I won't bring her into my 20s, I won't bring her into my 30s, and now in my 40s, I can't help but bring her in. Give me advice. I don't remember Wendy's response, but, like... <laughs> you trying to be on that? I, I, wa- I wish that was me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But I get it. She deserves to rest, if she wants to. But I think music's such a big part of her. Anyways, Cute. results of the poll. <laughs> Fucking sidetrack. We said, yes, the queen has paid her dues, 42%. No, she still got more in her. She still got more art in her. You know, 58%. That's fair. Period. Yeah. Okay, so we saw the Renaissance movie, what, four or five days ago? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it just revived. Like three days ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. The days have been so long, I've worked every day since, so. Yeah. Um, Real. Yeah. Uh. We saw it the 30th. I know it was supposed to come out the first. I think it was with the timing of, like, the UK. Yeah, whatever, everything. Blah, blah, blah. It just revived my love all over again. Like, it really... I'm so glad we paid to see the show twice because I was like, I'm still, like, thirsting for it. But I'm like, wow. Thirsting I for it. I would have been in tears if I just decided, like... Because, honestly, it was a little <laughs> out of budget. But I would have so regretted it. If mm. I didn't see it twice. And even yeah. go see the movie, too. Seeing the movie was, like, a rush of adrenaline. I obviously cried during both shows, like, really hard <laughs> during the beginning. Um, and there was moments in the Renaissance movie that made me, like, emotional all over again. One, from just remembering how I felt in her show. And two, obviously, she had a lot of sweet moments in it that made me emotional. So the one thing that I was like, yeah, this fucking shows. But it's just so cool that she highlights how much effort and work it took to make the tour i think you never really know what goes into something until you see it because like you're not really thinking about it so i was kind of surprised and like also i always think about just like in general with anything i'm like how the fuck did we get to a point where you can build shit like this like isn't that amazing like i don't know okay this is so like stupid like girl you have two brain cells but like genuinely i'm like how do people discover that you can do this yeah like how does how how does everything get connected and like who figured out that you can connect everything like it feels way too advanced for the year that we're in yeah 
I don't know. But when you're there, you're just like... Oh, you're just like, yeah, oh, yeah, like, like oh, it's, yeah. it's, like, this is so common, like, it's a tour, this yeah. is how it looks. Like, it's one of those instances where it's like, oh, I paid a thousand dollars for this? Yeah, you know, yeah, I can see where my thousand dollars is going, basically. Yeah. I was just thinking, when she said it took four years, I was like, yeah, because it wasn't, in my opinion, it wasn't just, like, a show. It was, like, a full experience. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, from the moment you get in, and she has that, like, static uh, screen going on with the um lgbt colors and stuff and the song that she has playing right before the show starts that i know like everyone every beehive is like borderline traumatized by because you're like it's fucking like, hell bitch like, got on stage like, <laughs> yes. two hours later i know it's worth the wait but fuck. yeah like she's pavloved me with that song you know what i mean like Sit. it's not just like a show where i'm like oh that was a good show great show I'm a head out. Like, that was an experience. That was a night, like, I will always remember the rest mm. of my life. And even, like, the fact that it was a, an experience was because even when she wasn't directly in front of us or even on the stage, she had something there. Yeah, like, there was, no matter where you were in the stadium, which, like, fucking 70,000 people, like, it's hard to give everyone a good view. There yeah. was a pretty decent view for everyone. We were in the fucking butt fuck 500s, night one, and there was this big obstruction in the middle of the screen, in yeah. the middle of the stage, but you still got to see the two sides. Yeah. So it was, like, pretty, like, you still get to see stuff, even if you, like, I don't know. Yeah, and even on night two, when we were in Club Renaissance, sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, she'd be across the ring, and she'd the be lighting, a little dot. Yeah, and the lighting would blind you a little bit. But she'd have a dancer. There'd be dancers scattered all throughout dancing. And, like, yeah. looking at you and performing for you. And even when, again, she wasn't on the stage. Her interludes, like, they weren't just clips of her music videos and she just oh, threw them together. Oh, I sat there, like... Yeah, and even when she had her the Pure Honeys singing, like, when she had the ballroom dance segment... It was a full experience. Mm. Like, you were entertained. Yeah. You know when they're like, oh, this is a bathroom break. Bitch, there was no bathroom break. Like, again, <laughs> even during the interludes, you're sitting there like... I was so, like, what's it called? Entranced. Yes. Like, I was in a, I was in the zone. Oh, my God. It was too fun. It was a... Mo- <laughs> last night was a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, like, no one's gonna believe me. Last night was a movie. Oh, <laughs> Literally. <God>. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um... <laughs> But yeah, like, I just thought, like, the team that it took to put the tour together, I was like, that was a fucking team she had working. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, and I also like how with her, people know her team by name. You know what I mean? Like, they start to know, like, Honey Valenciaga, they start to know Amari, like... Like twins. Funny enough, I was looking at the credits, and I was like, oh, Tobias Rylander, James Merriman. I was like, yeah, I know these. Even costume design. Her mom, like, her mom as far as i know only really has designed for destiny's child and her mm. did you see the fucking costumes on that tour of course how could you not oh my god the other thing that was obviously a big point of the documentary and just the renaissance album was her giving the lgbtq culture a public platform in the mainstream yeah they've always had a platform and they've always had a right to but just in the mainstream i think she really highlighted them I think she did the fucking best job of highlighting them because, actually, I'm not going to name names, but, like, there are other artists that try to shine light on other, like, LGBTQ artists and um, culture, but, like, it never gives. It never gives. If you know, you know who I'm talking about. Like, well, just, it just... People can sense the genuineness. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Some people just want something um, to support. To me, some other artists, it's not giving they genuinely, like, are trying to put these people on a platform. It's giving more, like, this is the trend nowadays. Yeah. So I'm just gonna, like, yeah. follow along with it. But, like, no, her, it's, like, very clear that she's, like, oh, like, I want to do this. Yeah, well, hers was also, I mean, I feel like it, it I think this was one of the moments that made me want to cry. Um, She has a, such a, <laughs> my stomach's <laughs> gurgling, sorry about that. <laughs> Was um her connection with her uncle Johnny. Yeah. That made me want to cry. You know what made me really want to cry? That had me shook where I'm like, again, this is one of those things where it's like, I love Beyonce, but I never really sit there and be like, oh, this is of a, a woman in her early 40s. Mm. 
like a black woman in her early 40s and her uncle Johnny was a gay black man in the 50s Mm. when she said that I was like that makes me want to cry because I could only imagine like what life was like for him yeah and in the south sorry I love what they were saying about like making other people feel good is a way to protect yourself yeah like when you make other people feel good they will like you yeah like that's crazy I know that's like not like the most jarring statement ever but, like, I guess you don't really think about it. Because, like, when you think about protecting yourself, like, it, it's giving, like, Cardi B when she's, like, I'm going to teach my kid to fight so that if people bully him, like, he knows how to fight. Yeah. Like, that, I feel like that's a lot of people's typical response. But being, like, I'm going to teach you to sew so you can, like, like get people to like you before they get the chance to hate you. Like, that is so... Yeah. Ugh. Well, like, I know um Zachary Campbell, who's a YouTuber. Ugh, I freaking love him. And I know Denzel Dion... I think he might have said it too, but I know Zach said it for sure, where he was like, if I made people laugh, like, they wouldn't bother me. Yeah. Do you that know what kind I mean? of makes me want to cry. Like, I don't know why. You, because it's like, you you have to be nice to people that would be cruel to you if they didn't get something from you. Yeah. But, like, that's how you just lead your life. You just treat people nice. Yeah. Right? And then, like, there, I mean, even throughout the Renaissance album, like, how she had Big Frida on the song... I love his music. I stay bumping his music. T.S. Madison show, fucking iconic. Yeah. <laughs> um, Kevin Jay-Z Prodigy, his voice is so iconic. He was so funny in the film. Like, I oh, know, she's so right? little. <laughs> I love him. That was fucking hilarious. Yeah, and then she also sampled um, Kevin Aviance's song, Cunty. Which, like, again, it's just, like, little nods. And the thing is, again, her genuineness... They're not, like, she's not promoting it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's, like, if you go look into the credits, you will very obviously see at the forefront who's there. But it's not, like... She's uh, pushing it. Yes. Yeah. Or, like, pushing it more than other things she's pushing. Yeah. So, the other thing the film really highlighted, which, like, again, if you're a beehive, you already been new, and the fact she's a Virgo, was this girl's fucking work ethic. Mm. When she said it's been, what, 44 days I haven't had a day off? I cry, like, getting through the week. If I have three days back-to-back, and especially when I had schoolwork and stuff, I would sit in my room and cry all night. Like, granted, it's not... I'm not doing no passion work for for myself, but still, I was just... When she was sitting there and she was like this, and you guys could see her eyes, like, twitch shut and then open and twitch shut, I was like... Yeah, especially her... Someone let her sleep. (laughs) Her age is crazy. Like to be, to have that fucking work ethic at at forty two. Yeah. Like no, bitch. After I'm giving you've had up. All the success in the world. I'm giving up. You know, I'm taking it easy. Yeah, but th- I think that's what she was saying. That like, she like music helped her heal herself, and that and other people then get to heal from it. Like I don't think I music is like her passion. I don't think she just sees it as a job. She's one of those people that I think music will always be a part of her life. You know? Yeah. And then the other, like, the part, it was fucking making me laugh when she was like, people just keep pushing, 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 trying, trying, trying. And, like, I know you guys all saw the comments of people talking about her skin color and all this other bullshit and her mom being like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like, all this, like, people just poke, poke, poke. And then they're like, you know what, this bitch, she said it, this bitch just does not give up. Yeah. You know? It's like, you're not gonna make her hate what her life is which um, is music fighting having to fight your crew to get them to do what you want is crazy like you would think oh i'm working for beyonce i better listen to beyonce mm-hmm. but no they're sitting there like well there's no bigger lens like i can't and she's like there's none they're like well i guess there is <laughs> yeah and then yeah. she's like um right well i actually just googled it and like, bitch, is... i checked on amazon yeah <laughs> Amazon Prime that shit right here, right now. In front of me. If you don't order it, I will. It's just crazy that, like, I saw someone talk about this online where they were like, this is Beyonce. Mm. Imagine what other black women have to go through to get what they want. This is Beyonce. And you're sitting there being like, ah, I don't know. Like, I can't even imagine. That's what I'm saying. It's like, you would think working for a huge ass celebrity that you... You try your Get your best. shit together. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch, I try hard for, like, fucking shitty-ass companies that I don't even like. I know. It's like, if I worked for Beyonce, like, 
you better believe I'd give, be giving an arm and a leg to try yeah. and fucking deliver on what the fuck she asked for. Yeah. Well, it's funny that it's also like 10 years later, 15 years later, and nothing's changed for her. Because I specifically remember um, in another documentary where she was literally saying like, oh, can we get the piano on the stage? Mm. And they were like, oh, we can't move the piano. And she was like, I saw them put wheels on the piano, get the piano on the stage. Even if you can't, even if there's no wheels on it, like, you better get your muscles up and pick it up. <laughs> like, what do you, like, what, it's immovable? I It'll know. rot there until the end of time? Like, yeah. what, what? Yeah. <sighs> Piss me off. Yeah. Yo, I need to be her manager, because, girl, I will fight for you. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> she will fight for you. I will. I'm very confrontative. Like, I'll do all your dirty work. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, I can also just do the work, because I will do anything. I literally, I was at work today. I was like, I work too hard for this job that doesn't help matter. <laughs> yeah. I was like, seriously. The other thing that was super cute was Blue Ivy. She's a little, little superstar. I don't even want to call her that, because I never like want to put that much pressure on a kid so i'm like i enjoy every time she's on stage or something she does something with her parents but i'm like if she turns around it's like i don't want to do this yeah i'm like she, i don't want to be like no she's not a superstar but i'm like she doesn't want to be one so yeah but i think blue ivy will be a superstar no matter what she does even if she sat there and did nothing at all even if she had she's too no, iconic yeah it's like you're beyonce's daughter of course you're gonna be a superstar you could literally it, it's like um the kardashians like, they don't really do nothing. Well, well okay, now they do stuff. But, like, in no, the beginning. <laughs> but I'm saying they're a little different because I do think they platform their kids a little more. No, no, I'm just talking about themselves. Oh, okay. Like, I'm like talking the about name. the Karda- like Kim Kardashian. It's oh, like, girl, okay, she, did, okay. she didn't really do much, but it's like, you. It's they're still a superstar. I feel that way about Blue. It's like, you're, you're a superstar when, oh, no matter what. Yeah. Well, I think it also just had to do with, like, since her pregnancy, people were just Mm. relentless and, like, ruthless with it. I don't know. It was shady. But, like, I just, you know, she's just a girl. And I genuinely did (laughs) like seeing... I'm just a girl. (laughs) Um, I did like seeing, like, just how protective she is of, like, all her kids. But even when she was talking about, like, oh, Blue um, did one show. I let her do one show. And then she read the comments, and Beyonce was like, I don't even like the fact that she had access to those comments. Like, you can tell, like, she's very, very cautious of what her daughter sees online. Yeah, and the fact that, like, I think a lot of um, women might try to, like, pimp their kids out, per se. It's like, even the way Blue Ivy was dressed the whole tour, it's like, they never gave her, like, no crop top, no, like, booty shorts. Like She wasn't dressed like the dancers, she was dressed appropriately for an 11 year old yeah which like that's a whole thing in a, of itself i fucking hate when people dress up their like little babies in like crop tops and like but you know I what's don't kind like of it. iconic to me the fact that she was only supposed to do one show and she had so many outfits though mm. so just on the run on the fly they were just matching her outfits to her mom's the night yeah. she would go that's kind of amazing <laughs> yeah um and then the last thing that i just really liked from the movie I'm, this is so corny that sometimes I'm like, oh my god, this is like a woman in her early 40s that doesn't know me, but I'm like, her heart, her heart was so good. I genuinely think Beyonce has one of the best hearts in the industry. Yeah, I don't understand how people can sit here and talk about Illuminati. If you heard her speak for five minutes, like, what about her screams the devil? She is genuinely, like, the common... I mean, obviously, she's in her 40s now, so you're probably a little more chilled out in your 40s. But, like, she's, she's always been. She, she has such, like, a calm energy, very nurturing, very sweet. Yeah. Like, what the fuck about her screams, like, the devil? And she's very grounded. You know what I mean? And what also gets me is it seems like, obviously, it's her mom, so they're going to pay their respects. They really love her mom and respect her, but they just don't pass that same energy on to her. Mm. I'm like, that's literally Tina's daughter. Miss yeah. Tina's daughter. Yeah. Excuse me. Like, but the thing from the movie that I got was how much she credited every single person. Like, I was even on her website just looking at the credits and this is the thing where people are like oh she like 30 people this 30 people that oh yeah because she needs a whole team she's not talented herself i'm like no 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 she credits every single person bro she credit credited the truck drivers and the bus drivers for the tour 
yeah. and the nurses. If like, other artists did that, you better believe there'd be a shit ton more names as well. Like, what, yeah, what type know, of right? comment is that? Yeah. Like, of course, it's a huge production. Do you think a magical fair, like, like a team of five is going to put it together? That's why I'm saying. I'm not going to name names, but they're comparing her tour and her performances and her albums to someone where I'm like, yeah, I can believe that took three people. Because it, it is true. The truck drivers, truck drivers did fucking work. Like, she was saying they had three st- stages, I think was the word. And she was like, yeah, well, one's being set up. The other two are already going to the next venues. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it was a serious whole team of people that, like, if one didn't do their job, you would feel it. Yeah. She really said this a beehive. Yeah. And she ended off with my house. And I just knew, I was like, oh, my God. Like... I was praying it was going to be a new song, and lo and behold, it is. But every time I have a new Beyonce experience, which is like a movie, a performance, a, cho- a tour, a song, I feel so, like, motivated to, like, do what I want to do. And honestly, like, even with this channel, I really wanted to start it. We did start social media-wise, like, a little before the show, but I started it in the name of the Beyonce show. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I just um, love, like, seeing people create art and then being able to, like, talk about what it reminds me of and, like, honestly getting to know more people's names. Um, and, yeah, I just feel really... Yeah, I think Beehive, after, like, watching that movie, it felt fucking motivated. Because I don't remember who exactly it was in the film, but someone said, like, something along the lines of, like, I'm so tired of... Honey? Or... or, or I don't know. They yeah. were like, I'm tired of seeing other people do it. And, like, I, I can do it, too. Like, I want to be able to do it, too. I can do it, too. So, it's like, I don't know. It just, like, puts a little spark in your eyes. You're like, Ugh, Well, okay. because it's also, like, you never know who's watching. Like, mm. there was... I don't remember her name, sorry. Um, The one dancer where she was like, I just uploaded a video mm. of me dancing and my wig fell off and I kept dancing. And Beyonce's like, I hired her the next day. Yeah. And same thing with Aaliyah Janelle. Like, we've b- both been following her for years. Yeah, and I when, love her. When she popped up on the tour, we were like, ah! Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just like, especially in in this economy, it's like, I might as well just do... What I what I want to do. do, yeah, and that's that. That's that, guys. <laughs> but anyways, we have another question going up on our community page. If you want to leave us a little vote on it, um, who do you think was the best surprise guest on the tour? Yeah, my vote, Blue Ivy. Durr. Durr. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. There's Megan the Stallion, Kendrick Lamar, and Diana Ross. I love Diana Ross music. Mm. I love her music. And, like, iconic, obviously. Yeah, I know she's iconic. But I also love Megan Thee Stallion. So, she I don't know. She was funny. I love you, Queen. I love you, Beyonce! I love you, Beyonce! Yeah, honestly, she had the most pure reaction to being on stage with Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, and then let us know in the comments, like, what do you think Act 2 and Act 3 are? I heard people on TikTok were so funny. They were like, thank God it was a new song at the end and the movie was not act two because that's what people were trying to say. I was like, no, no, no. Act two has to be just as big as act one. Yeah. Yeah, let us know. Bye. Bye.